Okay, so a little workout for uh, legato, really, is what we're working on, and muting. So if I'm playing something like, you know... It's combining picking, muting, because when I move across... Strings, I want to mute them, and hammers and pulls for legato, right? So I'm doing this for a little uh, legato exercise. First four frets, one, four, one, three, one, two, one, three, like that. My first finger stays down, obviously. And then I go to individuals. Okay, one four, one three, one two, two four, two three, and three four. And then I'll go one, two, three, four, three, two, one slide. One, two, three, four, three, two, one slide. On my right hand, I'm not picking anything, look. So I make sure that my slide is strong enough. It gets really hard up here because the string gets really tight and it's hard to make it move. And then I come down. most easy in the middle because <laughs> the string is just enough tension down here it's tight up here it's tight you know then the next string I do the same thing The difference now on the right hand is I'm cupping, I'm on the B string with my pick, even though I'm not using it. My thumb is on the G, D, A, and E, and my second finger now is touching the high E. So with all this impact, if I turn the guitar off, I'm hitting the guitar hard enough that it will make the, the open strings ring, okay? So I got... I'm not just sitting here going. Sounds terrible. I have to mute. And then it's all the strings. You'll find that, you know, the, sometimes it depends on what you're doing. Now when I do it on the low E, my, my first thing is draped to mute everything. Because if I went like this, the strings are all ring. So now I'm draping. Okay, all the way up. I could also just do a cross. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. And watch this right hand as I do that. It doesn't just stay, it follows. It follows because when I'm playing in real life, sometimes I'm going to want to pick the notes. Either, yeah. You know, I'm not going to do this. 
necessarily the whole way. I might play. And do some hammering and some, so I want this this hand tracking, muting, and ready to pick. So I got now I could also do the combinations, right? Of three. One, two, four, half step, whole step. So I might do uh, one, three, four, whole step, half step. Two whole steps like this, and then two whole steps, one, three, four, like, and then the other one would be one, two, three, with a whole step in between, like, okay? Now, the reason to do that is because eventually I'm going to be doing this with all the, the scales, mm -hmm. not just the pentatonic. So there's pentatonic stuff. But if I'm playing like a melodic thing, let's say I'm playing that, this pattern, that's like a pattern number four we talked about last time. Sometimes I'll do a pattern like uh, and so I'll just make something up like let's say I'm doing this number two shape. Sorry. This one. Sometimes I'll just run through it from low to high. Turn around halfway. Need the extra note because I want three notes per string. And then I might do a pattern like four, one, two, three. Put my right hand. Basically, it comes down to this 50 50. I have 50% of my effort playing the notes, and the other 50 is muting the notes. So, if I'm playing something like. It's all, it's like I'm covering, I'm muting, I'm picking, but everything is like. I think of it, I think I told you this before. It's like it's a big, huge bottle of water with six holes. Mm -hmm. And if you don't hold every hole, it's going to leak water. So something like that. I need to cover up. 